Hi, uh, my name is Alicia Fornoni. I'm a professor of medicine at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine, where I work as a nephrologist and where I direct the Peggy and Harold Katz Family Drug Discovery Center. I'm here today to represent a large team of interdisciplinary and interinstitutional students, physicians and scientists that contribute to this new key observation that is published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation. Among them, I want to mention Sandra Mercer, Armando Mendes, George Burke, Christian Fowl, and Chris Pedigo as key uh, authors from the uh, University of Miami. I also want to mention some of my international collaborators, uh, Toby Huber, Perry Group, Gianmarco Ghigeri, and Matthias Kretzler for their contribution. Together we have developed a team science approach to what I believe represents a good piece of clinically relevant innovative discovery. Chronic kidney disease is a leading epidemic and it's a growing epidemic. Diabetes is uh, the most common cause of chronic kidney disease. Prior work in my laboratory demonstrated that in diabetes there is accumulation of cholesterol inside cells of the kidney which are responsible for the filtration barrier of the kidney named podocytes. In particular, the study that was published in the journal Diabetes in 2013 demonstrated that uh, cholesterol accumulates in podocytes because of in inability to efflux cholesterol from the intracellular compartment to the extracellular compartment. What we also demonstrate in this study that pharmacological reduction of cholesterol content in the kidney through an agent named cyclodextrin was sufficient to prevent, to prevent the diabetic animals from the development of diabetic kidney disease. These studies have now moved forward in successful drug development um, for, uh, thanks to the continuous collaboration and support from my, my long-term business partner, Mark Golden. However, several scientific questions remain unanswered. Number one is what is it that caused the accumulation of cholesterol in podocytes? And number two, is this something that occurs only in the setting of diabetes or in other form of kidney disease? What I want to show you here is a representative pictures of human podocytes, where you can see that in podocytes that have been genetically modified to be impaired in their ability to efflux cholesterol, there is an accumulation of lipid droplets that eventually will cause podocyte injury. The major finding of the new studies published in the Journal of Clinical Investigation are that uh, the, uh, this accumulation of cholesterol in podocytes is mediated primarily by tumor necrosis factor, or TNF-alpha, a non-mediator of innate immunity. What we also demonstrate, the local TNF-alpha produced by podocytes is sufficient to cause the accumulation of cholesterol, irrespective of the amount of circulating TNF-alpha. We then demonstrated that this does not occur only in diabetes, in the experimental model of diabetes, but it can occur also in a rare disease that affects primarily children and minorities, that is named focal segmental glomerulosclerosis or FSGS. But most importantly, what the study demonstrates that both genetic and pharmacological induction of cholesterol efflux is sufficient to protect experimental models of kidney disease from the development of, uh, uh, of uh, proteinuria. Um, I believe these are key findings because they open new avenue for new therapeutic drug development targeting cholesterol efflux for the cure of patients affected by kidney disease. The study truly reflected the strategy of the Peggy and Harold Katz Family Drug Discovery Center a center where clinical observation drives the experimental findings and discovery together with the fast-track drug development for the cure of millions of patients affected by kidney disease. Discoveries like this can arise only from a team science approach where patients feel anthropologists and physicians and scientists from different disciplines come together united by the mission to find a cure by the million of affected patients. Special thanks goes for uh, the support of the National Institute of Health, uh, NEFQ Kidney International, the Katz family, and most importantly, the Division of Nephrology in the Department of Medicine at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. Thank you.